Black Panther, you know what's up, man. Today, sadly, one of NBA young boys' friends was killed outside a show that NBA did in uh, Austin, Texas. And he was shot and killed by police. So let's just see what, what the news report has to say. <laughs> We start tonight with this bad rich man dead after eight police officers fired their weapons at him. Police say the man was running toward them with a gun. This happened outside of a concert in Austin, Texas. News 2's Best Castley live in studio tonight with how all this unfolded. Yeah, Michael, a Qantas Griffiths family did not want to go on camera, but said they have received very little information about his death, having to find out about it on social media, where it turns out there's a lot to see. Man, quit pumping that man, that man dead, man. Hundreds of videos from cell phone to body cam documented a night of violence outside a concert in Austin, Texas, where a Baton Rouge man holding a gun was killed by police. The officer involved shooting as well as other incidents were all captured on footage tonight. The man killed is identified as 21-year-old Aquantis Griffin. The concert was for NBA Youngboy, a rapper from Baton Rouge. Family says Griffin traveled with him, even getting on stage. The rapper spoke about the incident on his Instagram page. We from the same hood, same street. You came way out to the Austin, Texas to support me. According to Austin police, officers were responding to multiple calls of fights outside the concert venue. When they arrived, they heard shots coming from an alley. And at that point, they saw an individual that was running towards them in an eastbound direction uh, with a handgun, a handgun in his right hand. Uh, the officers uh, gave the individual multiple commands. We had eight officers that fired uh, towards the individual and one officer fired a less lethal, which was a taser. Officers then attempted CPR, captured on video here, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. There were many, many uh, videos. There were, there, there's a lot of things that have to take place in this investigation uh, before we can provide more information. Eight officers and the one who fired a taser have been placed on administrative leave as the investigation continues. Michael? I don't want to hear it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Engage people.